Hello, my name's Viv Rolf and I'm from the University of the West of England and I'm really sorry I can't be at your workshop today. Um, it's my departmental open day which popped into my diary but I know Charles and Laura who look after you fabulously well. They asked me just to pull together a few moments on video about my experiences of being a National Teaching Fellow. But first of all, I always think it's important to clarify the difference in some of the schemes um, and for me the UK Professional Skills Framework, the UK PSF, in which you can get awarded at various levels, from associate up to principal, that to me is a, a competency-based scheme by which you can aspire to become the best at any level. And to me, I liken that to doing your driving test, so you're gaining the core professional skills and levels of experience you need to go and be a great teacher. But for me, the National Teaching Fellow Scheme um, where only a selected number are awarded each year. To me, that's like the advanced test. So you're really demonstrating some maybe exceptional skills. You've been involved in national projects. You've demonstrated outstanding leadership. So the two schemes really are quite different, but I think they tend to get confused rather. So um, I got my National Teaching Fellowship at De Montford University in 2012. And I guess it was a bit like my driving test. I did take three attempts. But I think I was a better driver for that and I was certainly a better teacher fellow for that. And I think the, the main thing to keep in your head when you're thinking about these schemes is it's a fantastic part of your own professional development. So they think about lecturing, you know, you, you get dumped into this job, don't you? There's no job description really, there's no training manual. Um, on how to be a good teacher and it's probably like any sort of no other job really in that you're just left to sink or swim. For me these fellowships over the last decade when I came into higher education have been amazing so I can see in black and white on paper what I need to do um, to be a great teacher, to think about student engagement and assessment and feedback and what I need to do maybe to support and mentor my colleagues and what I need to do for my own personal development and both the UK PSF and the National Teaching Fellow Scheme, if you look at the documentation, they're just really useful tables and guides and frameworks of how to be a, a great teacher and, and to me that's what has been the most useful and not necessarily the impact of the award at all, it's, it's got me where I wanted to be professionally as a university academic. So really, really, that's got to be your motivation for doing it. I'm getting a bit more nervous these days when universities are setting targets around everyone must obtain one of these. It's a long journey. Well, it can be. It was for me. Um, you can't just sit down and write one of these things. You, you really have to use it to shape and inform your practice. And that's where they're so great. So, so what did it do for me? What difference did it make? I think, I think after that, and I think when you get speaking to some of the National Teacher Fellows or coming to the events and symposium, you sort of begin to realise they're very creative and often rebellious crew. And I, th I think for me, it gave me a level of confidence in, in who I am and, and the ideas that I had that I probably hadn't had before. So, yes, I do go and challenge things. I do get involved in um, national and international areas that are of interest to me that I perhaps wouldn't have done. So A, professional development, B, self-confidence. I have to admit having the £10,000 fund um, and NTF has had various levels of funding over the years. That to me has been a lifeline. Having moved institutions from De Montford to Bristol and you know, I, I couldn't have engaged in my, my areas of interest, which are open education, the ethics of digital learning. I, I couldn't have attended the conferences um, without that money. So financially, that has been a lifeline. I think, I would say, was it a stepping stone to promotions? I had a couple of promotions along the way. I, I wouldn't be so sure that it was the badge of the award itself, but as I said right at the start, it's that professional thinking and, and the, the development that I put into it that suddenly you can align to promotional opportunities, I think, more easily. I think you just get into the flow of thinking and writing like that, identifying the gaps in your professional career. Um, and if I need to go and think I need to go and do some external examining 
or editor of journals or whatever, you know, I can identify those through these schemes. Um, so, yes, it has potentially been a stepping stone to promotion through my own development. But moving forward, what next? Um, well, I'm part of the Association of National Teaching Fellows. I've had the amazing job, well, I told them, that I was going to set them up with a blog. That's exactly what we've done. So we've got National Teaching Fellows now contributing articles and we're re really building ourselves a presence on the internet. So you can certainly go and find out more about fellows from there. And also you can, you can search for them using my Fellows Finder that I've built. So here we are, cleverly covering up to ntfassociation.com. You can also find us on Twitter. So um, again, many apologies that I couldn't be with you today, but I'm only across the water. So if you fancy any further discussions or um, need further workshops, then do get in touch. I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you and have a great day.